For Syracuse. Carter coming near side, little stutter step, cuts it back to midfield and then some to the 45 of Syracuse. Out of Swanee, Georgia. Big hole off the left side. Michael Carter to the 20. And, and we're lucky that Sam Howell's okay. Carter trying to set up a little screen that was sloppy, but turns into a clean play. Trying to get the corner of the end zone, and he'll be just shy. Third. One they got second. game breakers all over the place in this Carolina offense. Here's one of them, Carter. And Carter, look at him go. And just like that, Carter turns on the speed down the sideline. Really solid one-two punch to complement each other nicely. And this is coming off of a 21-day layoff, and here he goes again, just shredding the middle of that BC defense. I'm so old, they weren't a million dollars back then, Greg. <laughs> they were just stairs. Inflation. 24 to 16, North Carolina, and there's Carter, and look at him go. Michael Carter. He caught everything after he could see. Right up the middle, once again breaking tackles is Michael Carter, and it's first and goal. We have to check out of some of those blitzes. They made some change. Well, can't stand up to the run here. That's Michael Carter. And now, Virginia Tech with a couple of touchdowns has made this a one-score game. Although Carter gets loose again, breaking tackles into the red zone and down to the five-yard line. Here's Carter after a 29-yard catch and run by Javante Williams. Michael Carter caps the drive. I know how to think. I know how to handle the pressure. How? Sideways pass. Michael Carter gets a block and a first down. Close one with a few minutes to go. How about North Carolina wearing the clock down here? Michael Carter into the secondary again. First and 25, Michael Carter. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? A house call on first and 25 for North Carolina. In play action and through the air. On third and four, they run Carter, able to get to the outside. And Carter, close to the goal line, no signal yet. He's out of bounds at the one. Or is he in? Well, first down at the NC State 43 yard line. And through the left side, Carter, big hole. Mike Golick, who's in Bristol, Marty Smith in Chapel Hill, Dave Pash here in Arizona. Second and three for the Tar Heels on their 27 yard line. They give it to Carter and gets to the perimeter. 26 yards to the 49 of NC State. And a drop play, and Carter able to break a couple tackles, close to a first down. Ref sees that easily. Paolo has a rushing touchdown. Looking deep here, got a receiver, caught at the 20. Michael Carter. No fresh set of downs at the NC State 42. Carter, another Carolina first down. You guys had to be absolutely freezing outside today for game day. Sorry, fellas. Second and seven, big hole for Carter. It's been the story of the game, North Carolina. Davo Sweeney came out after the game and said he will also miss the Notre Dame game next week. A little bobble there by Howe, but they're going to get the playoff. And here comes Carter. Carter cutting to the sideline and a huge gain as he steps out. But they do it in the right way, in a positive way. They could critique each other's performances. And they find it really pays off. Right through the middle goes Carter before he's dragged down. Williams and Carter, the only two backs on the same team, over 100 yards per game this season. There goes Michael Carter. Carter inside the 10, ushered out at the 6. A rare third down for Carolina. Heels need 11. Out in the flats, they'll get that and a lot more. Towards the pylon, a punishing finish for Michael Carter, and he's there for the touchdown. For five today, facing fourth and three here. Four-man pressure for Duke, and here they come. How? Poise has a reception and a man. That is Michael Carter. 
Kelly Stopper, Roy Philpott, Alex Chappell. 13 to go. Wallace Wade Outdoor Stadium. A little shake, a little bake. Michael Carter, and that's an easy touchdown. Five quick yards because they're so good run after the catch. Wade opening up off the middle. Carter finds that. Still on his feet before Michael finally Carter they take him down. Well, we have seen over a thousand yards total offense in the first three quarters here at Chapel Hill today. What will the fourth quarter hold? Well, Howell has been outstanding, continues that. Right away goes to Carter for the end zone. And have been forced to score a ton again today, this time against Wake Forest. It's Carter on the move. Carter hurdling over one man, trying to break away, got close to the 50-yard line. Talented how? Hand off inside. Michael Carter breaking tackles into the Irish secondary and weaving his way down to the 20. The senior from Florida who comes in averaging seven a carry. And even smiling and for Notre Dame, boy, a significant loss to that secondary. Ball moved to the 44 and once again Carter escapes, still running. Howell in the heels trying to get the rhythm back now. Carter makes a cut and jumps over a man, barrels out, good run to the 36. Far in this game seems to be really locked in. Carter on the carry and the touchdown for Carolina. So loaded at this position, you're likely going to have to fill a couple spots next year. Here's Carter bouncing again and stretching for the touchdown. Carter's the running back with Howell here on the first and goal. And Michael Carter easily Michael Carter into the end zone Carolina. for his third rushing score of the half. Part of this extremely good running back tandem leads 63 for a thousand yards today and off and running already. And he's going to have the ball punched out of bounds, but he picks up a first down. Johnson replacing Anderson at center. How flips it across the middle. Big hit deliver, but a nice catch made. In traffic by Carter. That's a running back. We got an incredible day with the Surratt family coming up on draft day. His brother Sage is a receiver away for us. Is also a top two pick. Look out. Carter's in the secondary. And down the sidelines. It's a foot race. Can they catch him? They cannot. The heels. Three possessions. Three touchdowns. Stretch the lead. Third catch for Diami Brown. Had the big 51 yarder in the opening series. Carter again. He eludes a tackle at the line and is bouncing and running hard, and it's another first down. But when you got a running back who's sending messages to big hitting safeties and then breaking tackles and going for the end zone again, this is getting ridiculous. Heels stretch the lead, and it's Carter who joins his backfield mate Williams in the end zone. Another missed tackle for Miami. Williams and Carter each with two touchdowns in the first half. This is Carter taking off. They pick up right where they left off. Again, they can't contain him. He gets the edge and scoots out. He's got that one-on-one -on -one matchup at the top that's been lethal most of the tonight. He said it's Carter. This has been lethal, too. <laughs> Number eight just running through big creases, banging. I don't know how many penalties they have. They just gain it right back on the ground. Is a testament to his confidence. He's not short on that. Carter in the seam, in the clear, foot race. Can they get him? Yeah, they're going to finally catch him at the 15. But now Carter. Zach Wilson's in that mix, too. So one reason why you might choose to return, play one more year at quarterback, is that you try to get some separation from those guys. Oh, Carter again. Oh, my goodness. Spinning, twisting, adding to his total. Finally banged out inside the 10. Jeremy and Cam are, like you said, relentless, tireless workers, and we appreciate their efforts. Relentless and tireless is Michael Carter. He's just a, a well, he's over. That's it. That yeah. puts him at 301 on his 23 carries, averaging 13 per carry. <laughs> and he's still out there. We talked about the last time two power five backs had gone over 200. Now you got a 300 yard rusher. Most rushing yards by teammates in FBS history.